Hey everyone, Bambi and I are here in the van in Guerneville, California, and it's starting to pick up with people visiting after the evacuations and fires, and it is Labor Day weekend. Ah, welcome to my channel. This is just a quickie video. Um, again, we're right here in Guerneville, but uh, I stopped here because I wanted to go into this little hippie store real quick. This lady has her own shop, and she's a seamstress like me, and a hippie, and I guess this will be a hippie day video because we're next we're going to the cannabis dispensary here in Guerneville. Hey Bambi, how you doing? Do you need some doggy CBD? You you do? Oh, it's kind of expensive. All right, I'll work on that. Look at these cute little buildings. Oh, I love little teeny storefronts. So this is the teeniest over here. I'll see if it's okay with her. So the seamstress said it was okay to come inside. She's not camera shy. We get Guerneville, part of the Russian River. <laughs> it's got a cute little doggy door. So <laughs> this is Coco's place. She's been on the Russian River, I think, eight years. We just met, and she's doing my dream. When I'm not nomadic, I would love to have a little shop. And this is her shop. It's possible. Oh, it's so great. So she has her handmade stuff. Look at these guitar um, cases she's making. Unbelievable. Believable. And she has her imports and different local artists are in here too, a few, or at least one. And I just wanted you to see how beautiful and cute this little place is. Oh, I want to sew again so bad. So, you know, it's your hippie shop. I mean, if Guerneville didn't have one, I would just turn around and drive away. No. <laughs> um, she's got... Hi, Coco. <laughs> she's got her sewing machine set up here. Isn't that awesome? And she's got her little dog in here, too. Oh, my God. And the serger in the back and the ironing and all that. See, guys? Oh, God. I'm dying. So, <laughs> well, carry on, Coco, and make... Badass, awesome, beautiful, creative things. Thank you. <laughs> I and, love your curtains. And masks. And masks. I make masks too. Okay, so Coco makes, makes masks. masks. <laughs> I know. If you're a seamstress and you aren't making masks, that's just silly. Yeah. I'm like, mine are recycled t shirts, mostly. There's lots of different ones. These I found mm -hmm. were the fastest. Yeah. I'm not good with fast. I mean, I know how to, what you know, to do that, but. This one by one thing is just so fun, but it's a lot slower. Wow. I'm going to stop talking because I have to see this. Oh, that's, um, there's a hippie bus down at the Safeway parking lot. Saw that, met that guy. That's Joe. I'm the seamstress. I'm, I did Joe's clothes. Okay. This is Joe's too. Oh my God. Look at this vest. This is great. Oh, wow. It's got butt pockets. Oh, man, that is gorgeous. That's all one piece. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Coco. I love adding things to things. That's like my absolute favorite. Like this, like what you're doing. This is my very favorite dress in the whole wide world. It's 15 years old. It used to be green. Wow. <laughs> and every time I wear it now, I have to fix it because it's... <laughs> it keeps shredding. But it's your inspiration hanging there, isn't it? It's it looks like right it there. Is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's look at the front of this vest. You guys, when I walked in here, I didn't even know I was going to be finding this soul sewing sister, dead head sister, <laughs> with this, the big stitching and everything. I've been telling them that when I'm on the road, I'm doing more hand stitching, and it's kind of like this. Everybody says you need... And I haven't started doing any yet. I'm in hat season. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love your leather, too. Okay. I only have one hand, so there we go. I think that's good. <laughs> go. Have a great time. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
All right. Thank you so much. So we got to find it. Apparently, it's a little hole in the wall, so it will be easy to miss. And there's all these empty storefronts right to the right. Now, you saw what was going on with that lady in there, you guys. That's me. That's like the sticks and bricks version of me. I have a little store. I'm sewing in the store. People get to see it. And I always thought, yeah, you're sewing anyway. Why not have an open storefront? You know, it's not like you're just sitting there paying someone to hopefully sell something that day. You're working the whole time anyway, inspiring people to buy stuff because they're seeing you at work doing it. That's amazing. And then she's got her imports as well to help fill in the gaps. And, um, you know, I couldn't do that in this town because she's already doing it. But that's like, that was so inspiring to me, you guys. Amazing. Not sure where this place is. And I can't even remember what the guy said. Uh, but it's 15025. It was by something brewery, that's what he said. Again, no GPS. <laughs> between Guerinville and Rio Nido and I already captured this for you but the lighting was terrible so in that video where we drive from Rio Nido to Guerinville you're not seeing it because I took it most of it out this is it with good lighting all right I need a number one five two five zero Here it is. This is it. And here's our parking. Right here. It says no parking. Um. So here we have the Farmhand Deli, Espresso Bar Market, and the Riverside Wellness Dispensary, Cooperative and Collective. Hey guys, so back in the van, the dispensary did not let me um, video the inside. They just didn't have the answer to whether that was cool or not because the manager wasn't there. But I think we're just gonna drive um, a few minutes down the road. We have a heat, extreme heat here this weekend, Labor Day weekend. Um, it's supposed to be 100 in the hundreds, 102, 105, even at the coast. So it's like, oh my God. Uh, Bambi and I are trying to decide whether to just take off north and try and beat the heat. Cause even in Garberville and Mendocino County, it's gonna be 100 degrees. Here's Rio Nido where I grew up. <laughs> You've probably seen the video of it. It's just gorgeous. So, yeah, try and beat the heat or maybe just go to the coast. But like I think I just said, it was like 100 degrees there. And we could go to Occidental, which I think is a little bit higher elevation. <laughs> I'm not sure. I sure do have a lot of video work to do, so we're probably going to Occidental, where there's Wi-Fi and a connection. Um, also, I found a Wi-Fi connection at the local library, so that's helped a lot. And here's the beauty. <laughs> Beautiful wine country here at the Russian River. And this, is, like I said, is Corbell winery and I grew up right here you know amazing we'll go a little bit further there's a great little bridge coming up so yeah it's gonna you know the other option of course is to just hang out in the water the whole time <laughs> I, you know, I have a lot of stuff to do all the time and just hanging out in the water all day without a boat, just sitting on the hot rocks there or in the sand, I don't know. 
We've been in the river the last two days. It's been amazing. Um, beautiful, flowing river. It is low this time of year, and so it's a little bit overgrown as well. There's like little, um, you know, the plants and algae that grow around a river when it's not flowing as well. So that's uh, what the river's like now. And it's always like that, but worse now since um, compared to when I grew up because uh, it's more drought, less trees, uh, more heat. But yeah, it's still super, super beautiful and um, very clear water. And Bambi and I had an especially wonderful time yesterday swimming in the water. I suspect we'll just stick around for the weekend. It's starting to get um, busier here and feels more like a vacation summer because more people are coming into town. So yeah. Isn't this beautiful country? Just hills with the trees, the, the river winding through um, on our right. But here's the river. Some people floating down. Oh my God. It's stunning, even from this little broken down spot. <laughs> This guy in the kayak's trying to get up. It's just kind of hard in the rapids. This is like probably a level one river. And the gorgeous, gorgeous mountains. Small mountains, the coast range. So I hope y'all are still with me. This is the beautiful, stunning Russian River. Oh. Still more vineyards off to the right. And this is right at the Russian River we have vineyards. Oh. Stunning. So now it says Sunset Beach River Access. Let's see if we can do that. Lot full. So the access, that's all new. The access for that beach used to be further up and it was basically you just pulled on the side of the road and sort of walked through the woods, you know, down the hill to the river. And then there's these sandy beaches. Must have been right. Let's see. Yeah, it was down that road. Alright, let's go let's go over the cute little bridge. Bambi and I'll double back and see if we can get down there. If it's awesome, I'll give you another video. Look at these trees, you guys. Look at the trees. <laughs> this is not even the cute little bridge. It's coming up. <laughs> so, all these canyon roads going off. Here's the bridge. <laughs> oh, I'd show you the river, but I'm driving here, people. Yeah, it's off to the left and the right. What do you know? We're going to go over here. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that little hippie video with the little shop, so inspiring, and uh, what you could see of the cannabis dispensary, and um, that little drive through the Redwoods by Rio Nido where I grew up, and the beautiful, like I say, Redwoods. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're all wishing you a happy day, and if you ever get a chance to visit this area, I'd highly suggest it. Bye.